Hello, I'm, I'm Michael Fine. We're coming to you today from Zebra RFID Laboratory. And I want to do a quick demonstration of the RXI4's ability to automatically calibrate for unpitched media. I'm going to walk you through that process, exactly how it works, and we're going to show you doing that on two different tag types. One that I have loaded now is the brand new belt from Raffle Attack. This is used, uses NXP's latest chip, the G2IL. And the other tag that I'm going to show you that I have in my hand here is Alien's latest tag. This is called the Squiglet and uses their Higgs 3 chip. So I have this, this tag loaded already and the first thing I need to do is calibrate for the label length. Just like any other you know, standard media with RFID media, we have to calibrate the label length so the printer knows um, how, how long the label is. And I do that by just pressing this little calibrate button right in the front of the printer. So I'm going to press this button. The printer feeds a few labels and automatically calibrates that label. So now the printer knows how long each tag is. And the next step is I need to do the RFID calibrate. Um, that's, and it's important to realize that's different than just the label length calibrate. The RFID calibrate procedure actually sets commands, actually sets parameters like RFID encode power and like the, the RFID element settings that are required to encode this from our adaptive array technology. So what I need to do there is remove one label I need to remove the label so the printer doesn't get confused and accidentally encode on, on a forward tag. I want it to calibrate on the, the tag underneath the print head. And then I initiate the RFID calibrate procedure from the front panel of the printer. You go into the menu and I scroll to the left, over to the command that says RFID tag calibrate. And I just press the run button. And as I press this, the printer back feeds the label into the printer. It's stepping in one millimeter steps backward. And throughout that process, it's actually scanning through each of the individual elements in the encoding array. This is actually the patented, the patent pending zebra encoding array that's inside this printer. And this is really what provides us the flexibility to, to encode these inlays and to automatically do this calibration procedure. It's inside this encoding array. So you see the printer stepping through, it's finished calibrating, and we're ready to go. So I don't like to waste RFID labels. So what I'm going to do is replace this tag back on the roll. Put some winding tag into the printer. And now we're ready to print. So I have a, a label format, just a simple label format preloaded on my computer. I'm going to go ahead and send that to the printer and I'm going to send five, I'm going to encode, print and encode five tags. And there's the result. So we encoded um, five tags sequentially, RaffleTech um, G2IL belts, brand new tag. So great demonstration. But next step is how difficult is that to switch to a different type of media if I need to? Maybe I need to tag a different item or maybe I had problems getting that, that particular tag and I need to change. And this is one of the real advantages of the, the adaptive encoding. So I need to change media types. So I'm going to go ahead and load the new squiggle from Alien. And same procedure we went through before. First thing I need to do is calibrate that label length because this is actually a little bit shorter label than, than the wrap of that tag I just printed. So I do that by pressing the calibrate button. And then next I need to press the, I need, I need to run the RFID calibrate button. And that command's already up on the front panel so I don't need to scroll over to it again. I can just initiate it right here. And you see the same procedure as before as the printer stepping back into the printer, or the media stepping back into the printer, calibrating that label, identifying the, the proper one of these elements to encode that tag in the most efficient way possible. And you see it's complete. And again, I don't think I really like to label that many media. So I'm going to roll that back into the printer. Close the printer head. And then I'm actually going to send the exact same label format that I sent before. I made no changes to this whatsoever because the printer controls all the RFID settings. I don't need to have that in my format. And there's the exact same label format, the exact same data encoded to the squiglet 
that we coded <clears throat> the G2IL belt. So great flexibility, and that really shows the power of our adaptive array and, and, and the flexibility of the printer, not only for what media is available today, but the media that's available tomorrow as well.